This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Let's get right into the news. All right, so we got Kanye West, and he still not dropped his album, bro. Like, what? <laughs> this is, he's done this before. How crazy is that? That you have a whole listening party, say you're dropping it this week, and you don't get the album. So, uh, before we get to the next topic, I got to read. So, somebody put out. What's his name? Phileas London. Okay, so Mike Dean is obviously like, you know, doing the final touches in the album. He said, Mike Dean and co hitting an all nighter. This is last night. You could bet that. Kanye definitely inspired by TN and still has verses to finish. And a bunch of new features today just based off the rollout hype. Rick Rubin lending his ear also. I'm not too impressed with that anymore. Rick Rubin. Who did he do a project with? Oh, when he did Loop, I okay, you guys are going to totally disagree with me with this, but when Kendrick Lamar did his second album, third pro, was that a third or fourth project? Because he had a couple mixtapes and he had his first album, his second album. Some people loved Pimp and Butterfly. Eh, I, I wasn't like totally uh, wowed by it. I like Damn, though. You know, so. I think Rick Rubin had a lot to do with that project. I've seen a couple things that Rick Rubin has been involved with in the past five years to seven years that were like, eh, you know, he's a legend. Don't get me wrong. But he, th I think he overthinks things at this point. He did some stuff on uh, Jay-Z's Carter, which I'm mean, not Carter, uh, Magna Carter. That was good. But I'm just saying like, so anyways, that doesn't wow me, even though Rick Rubin is, you know, he's Rick Rubin, you know, it's like, you know, he's done amazing things, but you know, people, you change over time, you know, and your ear's different, you know, over time. I'm not saying his ear's bad, I'm just saying it's different, now. you know, he likes different things, as you're supposed to when you get older. He said, could BR ready for the, a be ready for the AM guys, you know, could BR ready, like BR why do people abbreviate everything like T-L-O-P? Okay. You, you, you keep, like, abbreviating everything. <laughs> Just say it. Just spell it out. The life of Pablo, okay? Uh, I think he... Did he do this on the... The life of Pablo this happened in 2016. Did this happen on uh, the last album, too? I can't remember. But anyways... Then he said, who can turn in an album? Uh, wait, and keep in mind, he's only an artist who can turn an album to DSPs one hour before it's released when he's streaming services company. Want it as bad as we do. That's power. Dude, I'm not like, I don't, I, I, Kanye makes good music and stuff, but I'm not like thirsty for this. I'm more, I, I'm more thirsty for Drake's album than this album. Because Kanye's just doing this for, like Kanye's doing this. And he's still making music, and it's beautiful, right? But I don't, I don't like this. Is like he's just doing him. That's what I like about him, honestly. Like he just does what he wants. But some people just go crazy with it. So, anyways, uh, then he said, "Miss my bro, real talk." That was a, a year ago, and now he's, you know, back, obviously Jay Z's on the album, right? And at the end, they both say, "Watch the throne too." I don't think Watch the Throne 2 would compare to Watch the Throne 1. These guys, it's 10 years later. And uh, these guys are very different now. So it would be a totally different album. I wouldn't even call it Watch the Throne 2. I'd call it something else. Honestly, Lil Wayne and Drake would make a better do, uh, album together right now than... Kanye and Jay-Z. And there'll be plenty of people in the comments right now saying, we don't know what you're talking about. You don't know music. Music is for the person. This is how I feel. You could feel totally different, okay? I think that Lil Wayne and Drake would make a more exciting project than Jay-Z and Kanye right now. The hype would be way more on Jay-Z and Kanye, I think, because of their roller coaster of a past, but I wouldn't be expecting Watch the Throne 1. That was like a masterpiece. 
Kanye was in a different zone around that time. I mean, come on. You can't compare Kanye now to Kanye 10 years ago. I mean, it's not even fair, but I'm just saying it's like he was in a zone around that time, and that's undeniable, and you can't argue that. I mean, he was... He made my beautiful dark twisted fantasy and a year later watched the throne and I think they did that album in like two weeks. And it was a masterpiece. Okay. I think things Life of Pablo, I even I even enjoyed that album, you know? Like you can I can pick and choose what I like now, you know, with Kanye. And he goes through different things. Even even in between graduation and in my beautiful dark twisted fantasy, 808s and Heartbreak was just different. You know, it was totally different than anything he's ever made. He does what he wants when he wants, you know, and I like 808s and Heartbreak, but it was totally different than what you were used to. And I think he just does that because he wants to... He has artistic... He has freedom of artistic expression without really caring what other people think. And that's priceless in itself. He's not reliant on this music to fund everything he's doing right now he has financial freedom so he can do whatever he wants so i'm not i'm not going to critique the album that much i'm gonna just say i think it's just good you know i'm, I'm not going to say it's a masterpiece yet we don't even have it <laughs> okay i heard it on a live stream you know so i can't really completely judge it anyways um then we got Actually, I'm going to do this one next because this, this video is going to be way too long now. I didn't realize I was going to talk so much about this Kanye thing. Um, we'll save this one for the next one. I just want to split the videos up. This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Get in the comments and let me know what you guys think below. I appreciate you guys so much. And I hope you guys are having a good Friday. Um, you know, life's a roller coaster, man. You might be having a good day or a bad day. I... I realized recently, I mean, I'll just share this like just as some human stuff that I think I've been almost not depressed when you're down and like just down in your mind. It's not always where you're in bed doing nothing and everything, but I wasn't really I, I've really changed the way I eat for the past 30 days. Like ser I'm just eating salad, really. And uh, I've been working out more. And I realized, like, for the past year, I wasn't working out enough. I wasn't eating the right foods and everything. And I feel a lot better now. And sometimes you don't know when your mind is in a slump. Like, I was just kind of, like, going through life, still working, doing everything I have to do. But I felt like I was in a slump. I wasn't seeking more. I wasn't seeking this. And it's crazy how the uh, you got to check yourself sometimes. Check where you're at in your mind. Like, Am I in a slump? Am I just moving through life and not seeking more? Should I change something, you know? And it's good to shake things up every once in a while just to check on yourself. I don't know what the message is, what I'm saying, because I still haven't figured out myself. I'm still, we're always learning ourselves. But I know that now that I've been working out a little more, adding a different structure to my life of just like making sure... I'm getting enough sleep. I have a little bit better of a pattern and eating better, taking the right supplements, you know, that, that, that goes for you, you know, but uh, I just feel a little better, you know? Uh, and I'm starting to, you know, it's still a process. I'll let you know as it goes. And I'm, I'm, I'm wanting more out of things. I want to uh, exercise a little more. I want to challenge myself a little more. That's just my point. Shake things up a little bit and see if you could get a little bit more out of right now. Okay? Well, I appreciate you guys. Stay because and, and don't let the past is the past and the future is the future. That's all I got to say. All right, guys. Peace.